conviction in this is grounded in years of life experience in financial services and financial assets. So you're looking at it for what it is. It's a piece of software that's going to allow us to transact with each other without a third party. So just stop for one second. Viewers and listeners, think of the magnitude of that. If I own a restaurant, Gary walks in, he wants to pay the bill. He doesn't use MasterCard or Visa. He pays the waiter uh, with a wallet-to-wallet -wallet transfer that increases the gross margin in the restaurant by 22.5%. Now there's more money for the salaries. There's more money for food quality. There's more money for expansion. Um, I had, sitting in this office here, during the UN General Assembly meetings, uh, El Salvadorian economic officials had come to see me to talk about the wallet-to-wallet -wallet transfer development going on in El Salvador. And the one gentleman said to me, yeah, there's you know 15 or so million expats that live in the United States from El Salvador. They want to send money back to mom and dad in our country. They get ripped off. They're, sure. they're typically they're typically unbanked, Gary. They go to MoneyGram or Western Union with ten one hundred dollar bills. Western Union gets a hundred dollar bill, and mom and dad gets nine hundred. They get charged ten percent. Yeah, slammed, Gary. They get slammed. But imagine this piece of software, a wallet to wallet transfer without the third party, would save the El Salvadoran population. $400 million a year, okay? And that could go into housing and food and the economy and, and the, the perpetual prosperity, positive flywheel of economic growth. And, and when you stop and you think about what I just said, and you take it across every restaurant in the world, and you take it across every person in the world that needs to do a transaction, where now you're not going to get that slippage of fees clipping you. Because ultimately, what is MasterCard or Visa or American Express doing? They're allowing you to walk into that restaurant and have your credit be validated by a third party. Okay, MasterCard or Visa is going to support that purchase. But what if you could just do it wallet to wallet seamlessly uh, it's you know, and, and we and when you tell when, people, when do you, when do you think we get there? Because I think I think the problem is, um, I mean, I've been doing this since I was 26 years old. You know, re reforming and transforming the way Nat Gas literally is commercialized in four countries. If you can do that to power and Nat Gas, what what is a credit card transaction? I mean, I, I actually have a you know, a bit of a hard on for the for the card schemes. One, they're called, called card schemes. Two, 51% net operating margin, Visa. 51% net operating margin. MasterCard's got a 46% net operating. You cannot show me one company on the planet that is 40 year old that has a monopoly that makes that kind of margin. ExxonMobil makes a 10% net operating margin. If they were making a 51% net up, well, they'd be in prison, man. Okay, we would have <laughs> strikes in the streets, but the credit card guys can have their duopoly because, you know, somebody called, State Department calls me and says, turn off the Russians. Okay, that, that's how they make that kind of margin. And together, they have 72% of the market. Okay, that is, who's that costing? Joe Consumer. And it's not me and you, Joe Consumer. It's your mom who doesn't have any money. They're just... It's it's really abominable what I see happening. This does not happen in China, man. They don't make those kind of margins in China, right? And Visa and MasterCard haven't touched China. They have not made any headway into that market whatsoever. To me, that's what we attack, right? The Bitcoin's going to attack. I, I think the, the canary in the coal mine is going to be the gaming companies, the gambling companies, and the adult companies who get all these onerous, horrific fees, chargebacks, fees for refunds, right? Because they 350 times its average of a, 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 a food seller or a restaurant, Visa makes 8% on a pornography guy, and they call that brand risk. 
It's like, what do you mean brand risk? It's either a legal transaction or it is not a legal transaction. Bitcoin's going to fill up or some digital surrogate of Bitcoin, I think, takes over those microtransactions because there won't be any refunds. There won't be any charge facts. And once that's lost, the entire payment rails, I mean, the world pays the world, their margins will get crushed, right? Because that's where they make their real juice. It's a flawed system, okay? You literally have one merchant. The consumer's identical, right? So if the consumer's buying something legally, he does not understand the difference between pornography and an airline ticket or a charge from Zoom for the $20 a month fee, right? They're just transactions. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the other thing that's happening, and I think you probably see this, is that you get hit, the consumer, with the service fee now. So if I go to buy something oh, and say, oh, you're going to use your credit card? That's great. We're going to charge you an extra 3.5%. They're trying to avoid absorbing that on their end. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, and they don't really charge it overtly. What they do is they charge it to the merchant, and then the merchant embeds it. I think you're going to start to see merchants say, hey, like I'm trying to sell a $14 million house right now. I will give you $450,000 if you trade with me in crypto, right? Somebody's gonna make $900,000 in fees. That's pretty cool. For doing fucking nothing, right? right. Really. Right. Uh, but why wouldn't I advertise that? I mean, all these NFT guys, I keep saying, yeah, I've got a trophy house, let's NFT this thing, right? I'll do it at a discount to bypass the agency fees. So it didn't, didn't mean to get off on that track, but I, I just think this is going to happen first with the wealthy. It's not going to happen from the underbank and the consumer. It first has to happen with all the family offices have to get pregnant. All the pensions have to put one, two, three, four percent into Bitcoin. It becomes an, you know, a common investment strategy. We have now Ginsburg, we have Think, everybody's saying this is an asset class. That is a very new, that is a monster change from where we were the last 12 years. It's never been called an asset class. Once everybody is going to take a percentage of it, it's been blessed. We have tax documents, treasury documents out now. We have FASB rules changed. How many more green lights do we need, man, before we start our engines? Right? Well, like, I don't yeah, feel like I mean, it's early anymore. Yeah, I no, I understand that, I'm but you, to... you, you do have something that didn't happen in prior generations, and that is the baby boomers aren't leaving. You know, so and 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 the ones that are older than the baby boomers, Chuck Grassley, who I think is like George Washington's great grandfather, he's the senator from Iowa. He ain't leaving, man. You know, Nancy Pelosi, she's eighty-three, running for re-election. Joe Biden going to be eighty. Running for re-election, these, I mean, eighty-two when he gets to the next term of the presidency, if he makes a seventy-eight-year-old Donald Trump, these guys are not leaving the field. They do not want off the field, and they're antiquated. They don't understand the situation. Well, You've Brady got, made Brady stayed on the field. He stayed. He stayed. They always stayed a year too long, man. Yeah, they do. But this is decades now. I mean, Brady stayed a year or two too long, but he was in pretty good shape, and he won a Super Bowl. You know two years prior, you know what I mean? So it was not like he was like that close to being over the hill. But, you know, these people don't know what they're doing. You got uh, Elizabeth Warren. I mean, she's literally the antichrist of crypto, right? I mean, this woman doesn't understand it, doesn't want to understand it. She's got a vibe that it pulls well. If she says she has a people out there to bash crypto, an army of anti-crypto people, and she's raising money off of that, in the meantime, she's putting a crimp on U.S. financial services innovation, and she's causing a capital flight out of well, the United and, States. And, and, this Anthony, this thing should have been approved say, two years ago. You know, I, Look, I actually think that FTX wouldn't have been the problem if the ETF would have been there. You had so much – I think there's so much money trying to get into this space that it, it went through the way of venture and PE – because it had no access to the spot market, right? That makes sense to me. I do not believe all that. I think that money would have flowed into the ETF. It wouldn't have gone the way of, hey, I'm going to go invest. You probably wouldn't have done it. You'd probably been like, man, I can buy Bitcoin on the spot market. Yeah, it's I'm an good. interesting theory. You know, I remember I, 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 let him, I, let him, him, I let him invest in my business. You know, that's something I have to own for the rest of my life. I 
I liked them. Yeah, but yeah. How, how would you have known, dude? How would you have known? I know. I, everyone's, well, you know, I get lit up on Twitter now. I knew. I had some woman tell me that she knew. But I'm like, you told me you had an account with him. So if you knew, how could you have had an account with him? Well, I knew he was yeah. a fraud. But you had an account with him. Yeah. You know, we yeah. revise history to make ourselves look better, you know, from a, our filtration of the prism into the past you know my, when i got divorced uh my divorce attorney said just remember everybody remembers things the way they need to gary not the way they actually happened you that's know? right and i was like wow that's he's 100 percent right <laughs> i got to try to remember the things the way they happen not the way i you know need to you know that sort of thing yeah Let, let's let's uh move to the etf because i think that's mm -hmm. what's really really important 